What if you accidentally rode your bicycle into a river like this? You might say, well, it's moving slowly enough. I should be able to dodge these large logs and trees and branches. But what if a dog fell in? Or a cow fell in? Would you be surprised to find it drowned and torn apart at the end of its journey? Again, you might say, it might be smart enough in a slow moving river like this, but what if we show it at actual speed? Now, what do you think your chances are? Would this kind of moving water move a lot of soil and rocks and debris and pile it up down river? What if this river was 500 feet deep and not 30 feet deep? What kind of things would you expect to happen after something like this rages across the landscape? Well, we've been asking that question also. The Hell Creek Formation is famous for dinosaur fossils, and we traveled there in 2022 and discovered some Edmontosaurus ribs sticking out of this little berm by the side of the road. How many more bones are in here? Is there a whole skeleton? Well, you'll have to wait and see. But many people come to the Hell Creek Formation annually to search for treasures like dinosaur teeth and dinosaur claws and beautiful dinosaur bones. Were these tiny rivers responsible for burying all these things? People dig here annually because they consider these bones and teeth and claws to be treasures. So we seek something else in the soil not just the bones, but the soft tissues that we find in the bones. So come with us as we show you how we uncovered this Edmontosaurus skeleton and the ongoing research that we're conducting at the famous Hell Creek Formation in Glendive, Montana.